Before you begin this project, you're going to need one specific asset, and that's the image sprite that governs what is going to show up in this div container over here. Now, your, the size of your image sprite is going to depend on how big, we'll call this your viewport is. Now, in, I'm going to use this plugin called Measure It for Firefox, and just to show you guys about how big this viewport is. When I created this thing, I created it with 400 pixels, uh, four, 450 rather, 450 pixels wide by 400 pixels high. So the first thing I did is I found images for each one of my artists over here, and I just found them through Googling them online, and honestly, these things were all sorts of different sizes. I reduced their their file size, uh, or rather the dimensions to their file, each one by 450, 450 pixels by 400. Then I created one big master document, which is this. This is my actual image sprite. And this image is, let's see, if we go here, let me see if I could... Uh, get you guys some info on this thing. Uh, essentially this uh, let's see adjust size. This image is 1800 pixels by 400 pixels. Now consider my viewport, right? My viewport is 450 pixels wide and I'm using four different images. So 450 times 4 is 1800. So that's why when I created this document, I created it 1800 pixels wide, and I still left it at 400 pixels high because essentially this is all that needs to be seen. Now, what happens is the way these image sprites work is through background positioning. Now, let's say that for this argument, this point right over here, right at the corner where my crosshair is, is zero, zero. And if this line, the vertical, is the x-axis, and the horizontal, yeah, I'm sorry, the vertical is the, is the, uh, the horizontal is the x-axis, and the vertical is the y-axis, similar to like that math you probably forgot about in school. Well, what happens is with this image sprite is that you have a very you have a, a viewport that's set to I can't even make mine that small but uh, you have a viewport that's set to only see this uh, 450 by 400 uh, pixel wide image you set the background so basically just imagine that this right hand Beastie Boys thing is in here the only thing that would actually be viewable is this Grandmaster Flash photo. Now what happens if you were to set this margin over here, this uh, x-axis margin to let's say negative 450 pixels. What happens is if this right here is supposed, to, if this represents 0, 0 in the starting point and you put the x to negative 450, essentially this viewport, which is up here, is going to pull this image like this and only show this image, because now this is its starting point. And all of a sudden all you see is Beastie Boys. You pull 450 pixels more negative to 900 negative pixels, and you have Run DMC. Now you do that again up to 1350, and whoops, I kind of messed up my math over there. Right, no, no, how is it? So this is this is 0 and negative 450, this is 0 and negative 900, 0 and negative 1350, 0 and negative 1800. What exactly am I talking about? Well, this, it's the background positioning for your, um, for this div container. So, essentially, I used the image pane class to set up some pretty generic um, some pretty generic values. Now as far you see that I have 
width and height set to 100%. And that's actually 100% since it lives inside of the photo container. It's getting a height of 400 pixels and a width of 100% of photo container, which happens to be 450 pixels from the container container, the main container. And what else I did now is the image pane has the actual image sprite that I used, the artist.jpg. And this is what I was talking about. When I so Grandmaster Flash, actually I guess we should use this with our photo over here. Grandmaster Flash starts at zero zero. So in a display port, actually I'll move it right to my window like this. In a display port that's going to be positioned at zero zero and it's going to have a 450 wide by 400 pixel high viewport is going to start this image right here. Now once you crank it to negative 450 pixels there you go. Now, now all you see is the Beastie Boys image, right? And then so on and so forth just as I described before. So that's the basic overview of the of an image sprite in action.